It's an uncomfortable fact for Californians. Most of the structures in which we live and work predate the latest earthquake building codes. So how will those buildings fare in the next big one, and how can we best fix them? As ABC 7's Wayne Friedman reports, a UC Berkeley researcher has an elaborate project underway to find out. Of all the world's unusual pastimes, here's one you probably don't know about. It involves sitting in a large laboratory, staring at a concrete beam, waiting for it to crack. It's better watching it here than where there are lives at stake. Or for a while, Hassan, a Ph.D. Please pose at zero. His dissertation at UC Berkeley is looking at older forms of structural engineering and seeing how they will hold up. This one simulates the corner of a pre-1971 concrete building in San Francisco, which has about 3,000 such structures. His work has already generated plenty of curiosity. Uh, the relevance, I, in my opinion, is that it will, if we can show this thing to the public and say, look, do something so that your building is fixed before the earth will come. Based on this pile of scrap out back called the Boneyard, we have plenty of work to do. They call this place the Boneyard for a reason. These aren't bones, of course. They're reinforced concrete beams. And just like the one inside, they've been tested to fail. Research to this point has already created a rogues gallery of frightening videos. Every test takes hours to reach a breaking point. They are essentially earthquakes in slow motion. But a strange thing happened with this beam today. It was unreinforced at the joint and so more pliable. Against a slow, twisting stress of 700,000 pounds, it far exceeded the 90-minute estimate, surviving almost five hours. It means that this joint could be a little stronger than we expected, and this is good news. For the public. Yeah. Less buildings to retrofit. Right? Safer in earthquakes. But not that safe. In earthquake stress testing, there was always a payoff. From Richmond, Wayne Friedman, ABC 7 News.